Welcome back. While well, results continue to come through, and this time Sun International reporting 42% increase in adjusted uh, first half headline earnings per share. That's to 408 cents. Looking at that revenue line there, ticking up by 10% to 5.2 billion rand. Uh, interim dividend there of 110 cents per share. So earlier we spoke to CEO Graham Stevens about what drove earnings this time around. I think the key positive take out for us is the 10% growth in revenue and the 20% increase in the EBITDA. There's always a bit of noise in how you calculate the uh, headline earnings per share. But at the revenue level, we've had some very strong growth coming through from Monticello, our property in Chile. And I think also more importantly, the, the rest of the group's seen about a 7% increase, which is above inflation um, and looks like it might be here. To stay. What's your assessment of uh, the landscape you're operating in right now in that gaming and leisure industry? Because uh, like you say, it's your Chilean operation that's contributed nicely to the set of results. And with that, you've got quite a focus on Latin America. But uh, then, of course, you've got that exposure in uh, various geographies globally. Yeah. Look, I, I think to put Chile into perspective to start, yes, we've had fantastic growth there. But uh, it represents about 16% of our total revenue, around about 12.5% of our EBITDA. So we are seeing growth in the other businesses. Mm -hmm. If we bring it mm -hmm. to South Africa specifically, let's uh, start drawing some distinction here and uh, draw the distinction between the gaming division and hotel. If we start off with a hotel, South African hotel occupancies for January rose uh, to 56.9 versus 52.2. So, uh, you know, holistically, just looking at, at the sector, there seems to be a nice growth coming through. Your experience of it? Yeah, we, we are benefiting from a bit of growth. The occupancies in our lives are a little down, but that's because we've had a few extra rooms, 150. 50 extra rooms to sell down at the Wild Coast, but room nights sold have, have increased. So we are starting to see that, and also the uh, ADR, the, the rate we get for our rooms has increased. Um, so the combination of the two says we, uh, we're starting to see uh, some benefit at EBITDA. How easy is it to push those rate increases through? It's got to be quite a challenge where you've got consumers under severe pressure still. Yeah, no, you're quite right, and we can't obviously push rates above our uh, competitive set, but we do watch it carefully. Um, and uh, we are seeing some benefits starting to come through. We've had uh, some increase in the FRT business, uh, foreigners coming out to the country. Mm -hmm. Where we aren't seeing any improvement yet is in the groups and convention space. Uh, which is more of a reflection on the South African economy right now. Yeah, if you look at uh, that foreign business that is coming into uh, you know your operations in South Africa, of course you've got to be eyeing uh, the currency uh, very aggressively. What's what's your view on where the currency is at uh, right now, and uh, just how do you mitigate against the volatility that comes with the rand uh, in your business? Well, look, we're a we're a rand-based cost base in, in in our South African operations, so. To some extent, we, we, we don't have to mitigate too much. I think where we watch it more is in relation to our Chilean operation. Uh, as that grows in size, the swings in the RAND start to, to make more of an impact on our, on our reported mm -hmm. results. So that's really where we watch it more closely. Let's take a look at gambling. Are consumers still gambling? We've got to ask the question because we talk about a consumer in South Africa that's still under pressure and uh, you know pulling tight on those purse strings, having to dig deeper into their pockets. What kind of uh, activity levels are you seeing on the gaming front? Oh, well, look, as an industry, uh, gambling is a pretty resilient industry and it comes from different sectors of the population. I think. We've always felt that uh, the entrepreneurial side of the country are the, are the people that come to our casinos. They like taking a risk in life generally. They're happy to come and have some fun, take a risk in our casinos. So where you see improvements, quite often it's a reflection of the entrepreneurial part of the economy. And we have seen a bit of an improvement, gradual as it 